Hey everyone, it's Melissa from Chubby Acres Farm and tonight I'm actually going to be going through with you our process um, of our in-house milk testing. So I'm going to go through the entire process from start to finish so you guys can see everything. I've already cleaned and dried my hands. I am still going to put gloves on though so we can try to keep as aseptic technique as possible so we don't get any contamination. So these are purple nitro gloves. Um, you can get them online. I'll be posting some links for you. So now that I'm gloved up, the first thing I'm going to do is go through our materials. So over here we have our um, incubator. You can see it's set at 36. Actually, the ideal temperature for bacterial growth is between 32 and 34 degrees um, Celsius, which is about 89.6 to 93.2 degrees Fahrenheit. The reason this says 36 is because the inside of the incubator has a Thermoworks thermometer in it, and we know that um, it's running a little bit low. So the inside thermometer is reading at about 91 right now. We've had it running for two days so that we could um, basically calibrate that and make sure we had the appropriate temperature and that it was a steady temperature before starting our testing. And then going from right to left, we have our nitro gloves. We have a uh, pipette. This pipette goes from 100 to 1,000 microliters, which is one ml. And so we'll be using this to sample the milk. You have um, pipette tips in the case here. You're gonna be getting different types of bacterial plates. And so the, these come from Charm Scientific. The uh, blue one is the coliform count peel plate. I don't know if you guys can see that but I'll be posting some photos as well and then the uh, pink one is the aerobic count plate so you can see on the top there I've already put the date and the time that we're going to be doing our testing which is important for us to know so that we know when to uh, evaluate and look at the plates which is usually about 24 hours you can go anywhere between 22 and 26 hours but try to be about 24 hours after plating we also have a sterile Butterfield uh, solution. This is a 99 uh, ml solution for diluting one of our samples, and we're gonna do that for the aerobic count. So I'll show you how to do that. After you do your sample testing, there's a colony counter and a magnifier so that you can take a look at the uh, bacteria a little bit easier on the um, colony counter. I have our samples here. I like these little tubes. Uh, these are nice too. So I put the date on there, the milk from today's testing, which has been sitting in the refrigerator for about 12 hours, which is mimicking what we would normally do. And so it comes with a nice little stand as well. So you don't have to tip those over. I just got a glass jar here for any discarding. We're going to put our uh, dirty pipette tips in there. And then these are the um, coliform count bags. So I'll put a posting, but these are the ones we're using. Again, they're from Charm Sciences, and there's a peel plate coliform and also a peel plate aerobic. And the nice thing about this is they have really nice detailed manuals online, but you can actually also see the instructions are right here on the bags. These are really great, especially if you are a micro dairy and you're not going through them very fast. These can be stored at room temperature for up to one year. So you just keep them in the resealable bag like this and you can keep them right at room temperature. So first thing we're going to do is the coliform count and the coliform count plate is actually going to be a direct sample. So we're going to be taking the sample of milk and putting it directly on the plate. So when you're using your pipette, you want to make sure that nothing is touching the end of this, especially once you get your pipette tip out. So I'm going to go ahead and invert the milk sample to mix it a little bit and get that ready. So we'll put that there. We'll go ahead and open up our casing, grab out one of our pipette tips. And then you really want to try to be careful about not touching the sides when you pipette here. So I'll try to show you guys this from here. You're going to go in, push down the pipette, pipette up one ml, come straight out. On the peel form, you're going to peel this back. Right into the center, you're going to put the milk sample. And then you can kind of roll it around and help it spread. 
and it gets all on there. And then you're basically just gonna let that go right back down. And so that's this one sample, it's as simple as that. So I'm gonna take the pipette tip off and you're gonna do another pipette. This time though, we're gonna do a dilution and that's gonna be for our aerobic count. Aerobic is air loving. And so this is gonna be a bacterial count where we're gonna need to do a dilution. So same concept, you're gonna still get a pipette tip out and keeping that sterile. You're gonna take a sample again from the milk. It comes straight out. And now we're gonna actually dilute it in our 99% solution. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. So we got the peel plate off. You can pop the cap open now. And again, try not to touch the um, edges. You're gonna go ahead and pipe that milk in. So I'm gonna set this down. I'm gonna discard this tip. And then we're gonna make sure the top is on and gently invert it a few times to make sure we get our dilution. And then again, now you need a sterile pipette tip because we're taking a new sample. So same concept, you're gonna do one ml, but now this is diluted and it's one part milk, 99 parts Butterfield solution. And then you'll be all set. So we've got our one ml. I'm gonna peel back the plate, just like in the last one. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it right into the center. Same thing, get rid of the tip. Our pipetter there. Move that sample around. And then you're going to put the plate down. So these are now going to be set for about one minute. Um, once we're done with that, we're actually going to put them into the incubator upside down. And so you're, on the instructions, it'll say that as well. But just so you guys know, you're going to want to stack and incubate them cover side down. And so this is the cover side. So you're actually going to want the little um, wheel side up. And so this one's probably been sitting long enough. So you're going to actually store them this way in the incubator. So we're going to go ahead and put them in the incubator. Hopefully you guys can see that there. Keep the thermometer over there so we know where we're at. It's at 90.9. And these are nice as well. You can stack them. And just stack right on top of each other. So we'll leave those in there for 24 hours. We'll come back and read those and I will share those results with you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another video so you can see how it looks from um, looking at the top. Um, but we will check back in 24 hours and see where our samples are at. Okay, everyone. So we're just gonna do a second video so you can see a little bit clearer how everything looks from the top view as we're putting the milk in the samples. So. I'm gonna get a pipette tip out. Again, once you get the tip out, you wanna make sure you're not touching anywhere with that tip and being careful to get the milk sample out. So you're gonna go ahead and you're still gonna pipette down into the sample. So get your pipette ready and go down right into the center and make sure you're not touching anywhere else and pipette up. Once you get a full sample, you wanna go ahead and put the cat back on there. This is going to be the straight milk sample, so that's going to go in the coliform plate. So you want to pull that up. Try to keep it as flat as possible. And you're going to pipette the milk right into the center. So hopefully you guys can see that. Just trying to get it to move around the plate. So it's all around the edges. And then you're gonna go ahead and put that right back down. So I'm gonna discard the pipette tip. And then we're gonna do a second one. This one is actually gonna be the aerobic. I'm gonna pre get that one ready. We're gonna get a pipette out. And we're trying something a little bit different. We're gonna do a one to nine dilution instead of a one to 99. And so this one is gonna just be a little bit of an experiment to see if it's a little easier to read these plates. So again, pipette in, get everything ready. Trying not to touch the sides. You're gonna pipette 
using the pipette tip, take one ml out. So you can see this milk is a little bit diluted. So we're gonna open this up, try to keep it as flat as possible. And using the pipette, we're gonna put the solution in. Make sure you get all of it in. Discard that tip. Dip that all the way around. And then we'll let that sit for about a minute. And then same thing with this, we're gonna go ahead and store them. So you wanna store them like this in the incubator. So put those in and in 24 hours, we're gonna go ahead and read them out.